Today I wanted to share a quick tip with you that has saved me so much time. I really could not live without this. If you have an Apple phone and a computer, then this hack is for you. And trust me when I say you will not look back. <laughs> for years I've been using AirDrop to transfer all of my photos and videos from my phone to my computer. But in an update sometime last year, it just stopped working. I could no longer AirDrop from my phone to my computer. And I could do it from my computer to my phone. So it's not like they weren't seeing each other. It just wouldn't send. It wouldn't do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> and uh, that was very frustrating because I have relied on airdropping for a decade. This was such a game changer for me. What I used to have to do was upload to Google Drive or email the files to myself. And that would take quite some time. Downloading all of that is just annoying, but also like the uploading process like takes so long, but airdrop is instant and it's just, it was perfect. It was a perfect solution. I had no complaints for so many years. It always worked. And then all of a sudden it just stopped and I couldn't rely on it anymore. And I was fuming because I started making YouTube videos last year more consistently. And so I had all these huge files on my phone that I needed to transfer. And I'm like, what am I going to do? How do I get these off of my phone and not spend days doing this? Like it was driving me crazy. So my friend Kendra told me about this hack and I wanted to share it with you because it has literally changed my life. All you're going to need is a cord that connects from your computer to your phone. You're going to plug your phone in and then you're going to open up Launchpad and search for image capture. I recommend just dragging image capture right down to the menu because you're gonna be using this from now on. So just have it right there. Once you have image capture open, you'll see that all of the files from your phone are showing up on image capture. Then from there, you can select on each file that you want and drag it right over to the folder that you want to put the files in. And it's that simple. Then bonus, this is probably one of the best parts for me as someone who's constantly running out of space on their phone is you can delete right from image capture. So I have actually used image capture to help clean up my phone because for whatever reason, like going through my photos, is just such a draining and overwhelming task. And I will screenshot things, send it to the person and then never go back and delete those photos. So it's easy for me to just know like, oh yeah, this is an immediate delete. I don't even need to open this. I know I don't need this. And then you can delete all the video files or photos that you just imported and save yourself some space that way because then it doesn't go into the recently deleted folder and then you have to delete those and that's taking up space, you know what I mean? But it just deletes it right there and that's very convenient and very nice. So thankfully, AirDrop does work now and I can kind of transfer back and forth if I need to, but I have found this to be way quicker. You don't have to wait till locate your computer. You don't have to wait for it to send. It just like happens way more quicker because there's no like cloud transferring. It just happens. You know what I mean? It's just faster. So I definitely recommend doing this, especially if you are a content creator, this will save you a ton of time. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to help. Have a great day. Bye.